All right, thank you, Chris. Kurt Browning still to go for gold tonight, his fourth world championship. Of course, his first was back in Paris in 1989. Now, Browning is trying to come back after a very tough 1992. He'll be the story for Canada at these world championships should he do it. The other big story, of course, happened last night. Isabel Brasseur and Lloyd Eisler, bronze in Oakland, bronze in Albertville. Repeating history, what the Jelinex did here in 1962 with a great performance to win gold. I'm wondering, you look so fresh. Did you get any sleep last night? A little bit. Um, we got to bed early this morning, so we missed half the day today. <laughs> how, how many interviews have you done back home? Uh, maybe two dozen. Enough to keep me busy for the day, that's for sure. All right, we're going to keep you busy for the next four or five minutes. What we want to do, and hold the videotape for just a minute, as a treat for the viewers back home. When you came to Sports Weekend a couple of months ago, you told me how you changed, you were more relaxed, the program was more artistic. I'm going to be quiet, let you people do the talking. Let's roll your program from last night, and you take us through it, all right? Okay, here we go from last night. Starting from the beginning of the program here, the program starts out slow, which is right away a change from last year's program of going 900 miles an hour, right from the opening note. Coming up is a very sort of innovative spin where it's a camel spin that goes right into a pear spin. I think it's really good that the program this year is starting slow because I was a bit nervous when I came on the ice, but just with the music, you know, it just got in my knees and I just tried to follow the music and we went really softly and we got into the program really quickly. Coming up now is what everyone calls is our infamous jump, I guess, our side-by-side -side <laughs> double axles and it, uh, we nailed them really quite nicely here. From there we kind of knew that the program was going to be a good one for sure. We had still the two throws to go and like a lot of jumps and lifts but when it starts really good like that it's it starts really good. Our program is a completely different style this year. We're looking, we've worked on line and the, the total look of the pair. Our first throw, a throw triple foul. A scale of one to 10, that's usually about an eight. We had, it wasn't perfect, but it also wasn't, uh, you know, a big major mistake in the program. I think one of the big things about our program this year is it's, it's such a, a well-packaged program that we like to skate clean, but if you don't skate perfect, then we still have what we consider a good program, and uh, I think that gives us the marks that we've sort of been looking for in the past. Now it's the beginning of the soul part, and there it's just kind of a relaxed part that we just can look at each other and smile at each other and try to encourage each other to get through the program, especially here. Yeah, <laughs> this is where we've made the most changes, the, the sort of good line, the, the softness, where both of us are a little bit more at ease with our own personalities and, and really we're letting the other person sort of lead, especially in my case, Isabella is sort of taking control of the program and I'm just going along for the ride at this point. That's the forward outside the sprawl that it hasn't been done in competition since the proto pop up, so that has been a while. I think one of the good things about our program is we we still do all the very difficult tricks. We had a triple lateral twist at the beginning of the program. We're the only team in the world to do it. Now is a split triple twist. It's just it's on different music and the, and the line, the going in and the coming out are much, much better. Coming up is the triple triple toe, which we did really good. And from there, we knew that it was going to be a good program, but still we still had to concentrate because we still had two more jumps to go and a few lifts. So we had to think about what we were doing. At this point in the program, I was really, really biting hard on my lips just to know, just to keep the calmness that is what is important throughout our entire program. Because I knew when Isabel landed the throw triple toe that we were going to skate clean right to the end of the program. But to keep the sort of the attitude of the program and the, the feeling in the movements of the program was really difficult at this point for me because I just wanted to start screaming and smiling, but that's not the program style.
now the last part starting and when you know that you see it pretty good up to there, it's really easy to get through through the last part. This lift coming up is a reverse back overhead, which we're the only team in the world that does it right now. It was done by Donald Gilchrist back in the 60s, but uh, it uh, has been a long time. I think we didn't give up any of our technical skills in order to come up with a new style. What we did was just put the two together, the both the athleticism and the artistry. This is our last jump combination, double flip into a step level toe. At this point, I knew we had had a great chance at winning a gold medal. It wasn't, uh, it de definitely wasn't that it was in the bag or anything, but it, uh, you know, I was really happy with the performance. Keep going, Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, me too, after the jumps, it was uh, really good, and we knew that we were proud of each other. Lloyd Eisler Sr., your mother is here, Isabella. Do you notice the Canadian fans, uh, the flags, the cheering when you're out there? Yes, we did, and it was really hard, especially at the end of the solo, to concentrate because everybody was there and cheering so loud for us, and all the skaters and the coaches, and we could see them jump already before we finished our skating. But we kept, we had to keep going and just concentrate. But it's great that they're here. All right, I know you have many obligations. It's one thing to say you're going to change. You're going to relax. You're going to calm down. It's another thing to do it. How did you achieve it this year? I mean, the program is still basically the same. You two are different. I think the biggest help, uh, Isabel and, and my coaches, have really made me realize that I didn't need to be so aggressive and so overbearing to do what I had to do and, and to get the job done. I always used to think that if you didn't put in 150% effort, then you weren't doing the job. And now I can put in 75 or 80% of the strength that it requires and still get the job done and manage well. And Isabel's been there behind me to make me realize that I was doing the right thing because sometimes I felt stupid doing it and she was there to say, no, it looks really good and you're doing the right thing and it's helping us. So I think it's a big credit for them. Well, I know I speak for Canadians from coast to coast tonight. History repeated itself. Congratulations, a world championship. I know you're going to skate in Lillehammer. Well done. Isabel Brasseur and Lloyd Eisler still to come. Kurt Browning. Let's go back to you, Chris Cuthbert. Thanks, Brian. From two new world champions to a trio of Canadian greats, 62 world champion Donald Jackson keeping Elvis and Kurt loose. More from Prague after this. The 1993 World.